Hey guys, Keith here, and welcome to another game. And today, we're going to be playing Pokemon Fire Red yet again. After all, last time I didn't complete the game, so this time I want to. And here comes the first dialogue. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the, the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Profession. Yeah. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Let's begin with your name. What is it? I'm just gonna go with Atomic, cause being the name of my channel. Anyways, but I decided to play through this again because last time around, one, it didn't look good or sound good, so if we had to do a rehash for any of the series. I was thinking once I'm done with this, I might play a couple more Pokemon games. Maybe cause I'm getting bored of um, military themed games now. Cause they're always kinda the same, so I want to go and play more games like this now. Anyways, but. My, your grandson, his rival, er, what was his name now? Gary. Was it Gary? Yes. I was doing that because of being the name of the uh, rival in the show. Generation 1 is really the only one I actually watched, watch though. You're a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Actually, I think I'm going to stop doing that voice. It actually kind of goes and hurts my throat a little bit. Okay, now we're just off to get to P Professor Oak and go and get our Pokedex. Well, first we have to actually get to him because, yeah, he's not here right now. Anyways, but yeah, so I'm probably gonna go play this game for like a little while, but not long. Just long enough to go and beat the Elite Four and probably complete the game. And after that, though, don't know what I'll play. So I do want to get back in the habit of. Daily, well not daily, but uploading more, I should say. Hey, wait up. It's, it's insane. While Pokemon live in tall grass, you need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Yep, now let's go walk back to the lab with Oak. If that's his real name. Anyways, but yeah, so. Gramps, I'm fed up with all this waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Tomic. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only th these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Grams, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. I'm gonna go with Charmander, of course. After all, Charmander is my personal favorite one. So, Atomic, you're claiming the Fire Pokemon Charmander? Yes. Yes. These Pokemon is quite energetic. Atomic received Charmander from Prof. Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to this Charmander? I'm going to name it Fireball, personally. However, i name it the correct way. F-I-R-B-A-L. But it's funny. Actually, I actually kind of saw a Switch, so I've been playing a lot of um, Pokemon Snap. The new one. Because, I don't know, it's a really fun game. Because I used to absolutely love the original one on N64, so... Figure I'd replay, figure I'd replay the one on N64 and then play the new one. It's actually a really good game. So yeah, if you like Pokemon, I'd highly recommend it. Wait, Atomic, that's battle. Yeah. Rival Gary would like to battle. Rival Gary sent Squirtle. 
And I'm gonna use Charmander. Oh, for peace sake, so pushy as always. Atomic, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. This trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Fight. I think I only have one move. Inflicting damage on the face foe is the key to any battle. To make that only by this game slash dialogue there is. Makes it annoying because then by the time you're done your throat just is dead from reading. Fireball you scratch. Foe squirrel you just tackle. But anyway, I'm not even reading that part but anyways but. So yeah, I'm actually really excited to play this game. Cool. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Better than doing yet another boring armor video or something. But anyways, so... I, I actually don't know any commentary I should do. Yeah, there's not a lot to talk about right now speaking, we're just kind of punching each other with scratch. Later on in the game though, we'll get a lot better stuff. Oh yeah, so, I just bought myself another game though, let's go Eevee, it should be coming soon. <laughs> hmm, excellent. If you want to win, you have to earn prize money, battle other trainers, and make your Pokemon strong. Anyways, but I'm just gonna go into like a Pokedex then, that will probably end this video. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon something I can't read that fast enough. Smell you later. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go get the Pokedex, go get the map, and then I'm gonna end the video. Look, look, I've copied what it said on the one of the trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. So, now I'm just gonna go on route one. Also, I'm gonna have to get as many Pokemon as possible. Like, new types. So, I'm not gonna be able to get every Pokemon, obviously, but I'll try and catch as many. Because there's a lot of them I can't get any other way than trading and like that, so. Yeah. So I'll get as many as possible, but not good with a hundred percent the game, unfortunately. Man, though, um, so just hook out that Pidgey. I do really want to get Charmander to max level pretty soon, like get him evolved, I should say. For once, so I go and battle um gym. After all, I don't really have any gyms of um Charmander won't be good for any of the first gyms. Not rock or the water type. So yeah, I had to find another Pokemon to battle Brock and Misty. I'm hoping to get electric type. I don't think there are any at this stage in the game. Okay, we've almost just taken out this Pidgey. So, yeah, luckily I should get enough XP to level up now. Then I get to get Ember at level 27. Or level 7, I mean, I should get Ember. Right? Level 7. Yep, Ember. Well, that'll make clearing out this area that much easier. It'll literally just be walking around and burning every one of them as quickly as possible. And we're entering another battle. And, yet again, no Raditz Hat. With how quick you were knocking these guys out, we're literally exterminating the entire Raditz Hat population. <laughs> I throw it just one after another after another. In Pidgey. But okay, we just wiped him out too. Nice. But yeah, I also have been playing Emerald, but I decided to leave my save, so yeah, that kind of was annoying. Well, now it's time to go and get the Pokedex from the Pokemart. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Profo Crate? His orders came in. Can I ask, can I get you to take it to him? I have received Oak's parcel. And now, I just go, go back to Pallet Town, and go back to Oak. Well. Okay, good. So, 
Yeah, that's one thing I'll have is all the backtracking in this game. Like, at the first... Like, at the start, I should say. Like, after this point, like... There should be a font at the backtrack, though, luckily. Should be done then. So, now we just go through here and get the Pokedex. Woo. Oh, that is my favorite part of this game, probably. Is Wait, made to return on the table. Hey, I'm talking about Pokemon, but it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? Yeah, something for me? I talk delivered Oaks parcel. Ah, it's the cousin Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Do you oh right. I have a request for you too. On the desk is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or got. It's high tech encyclopedia. Wow. Atomic and Gary, take these with you. Atomic received a Pokedex from Profolk. You can't get detailed data just by looking at them, seeing them, I mean. You must catch them to obtain the complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Blue Pokeballs. Five Pokeballs to so be exact. Atomic put the Pokeballs in the pocket. I don't want to read that. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world. That was my very dream. But I am too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to be fulfilling my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Atomic, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Atomic, ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place under this. I'll fast wait for Atomic to make a weird snotty squidward. <laughs> Okay, well, now we get the map, and I'm probably gonna end it here now. Woo. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that lazy of him. Here, this will help. A tonic received a town map. Nice. Now we should be able to actually find a way around. In the pocket. Well, I'm probably gonna end it here then, guys, so... See you guys in the next Pokemon video, remember... Like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Goodbye.